Every time you open a laptop, resume a paused video, or reload a forgotten tab, something quietly extraordinary happens. There's no ticking gear or spinning reel, just invisible signals racing through circuits, retrieving everything exactly where you left off. Your playlists return, your draft reappears, and your apps remember what they were doing. We rarely think about how this works, we just expect it to. But behind the scenes, your device is performing a delicate, high-speed act of digital memory. It's not just storage, it's recall, instant and precise. Without it, nothing continues, and every action would begin from zero. So how does computer memory work? Let's explore the invisible architecture that allows machines to remember, right here on, History of Simple Things. At the core of every digital task is one essential function, storing and retrieving information. That's what memory does. It holds data so it can be recalled, whether instantly or after a delay. But computers don't rely on just one kind of memory. Instead, they use a layered system, each type built for a specific role. There are tiny, ultra-fast registers in the CPU, followed by slightly slower caches, then the familiar RAM that keeps active programs running, and finally long-term storage where your files live. Each layer balances speed, size, and permanence. And every time you use your computer, these layers work together, passing data like a relay team making sure the right information is ready when you need it. Let's start with RAM, random access memory, the often misunderstood workhorse of your computer. RAM is temporary memory used to handle everything you're actively doing, opening documents, streaming videos, and running apps. It's volatile, meaning it only holds data while the computer is on. Once it powers down, RAM forgets everything, Inside are grids of microscopic memory cells, built from transistors and capacitors, each storing a single bit, a one or a zero. What makes RAM powerful is its speed. It can jump straight to the data it needs without searching in order, which is why it's called random access. But even RAM isn't fast enough for the hungry processor. Nestled inside the CPU is cache memory, an elite tier of ultra-fast storage designed to keep the processor constantly supplied with instructions and data. Cache is small, measured in megabytes, not gigabytes, but it operates on a scale of speed unmatched by any other type of memory. It holds the information the CPU is most likely to need next, predicting patterns and reducing the delay between a command and its execution. Cache comes in levels, L1, L2, and L3, with L1 being the fastest and smallest, and L3 being larger but slower. This pyramid of speed ensures that the processor always has a steady flow of data, never left waiting, never slowed by distance. Beyond RAM and cache lies long-term storage, where your files, apps, and operating system live, even when the computer is powered off. In traditional hard disk drives, HDDs, Data is stored magnetically on spinning platters. A tiny arm moves across the surface, reading and writing information by altering the magnetic orientation of billions of microscopic regions. It's mechanical, it's physical, and although reliable, it's relatively slow. Enter solid-state drives, SSDs, modern storage devices that use flash memory instead of spinning parts. Inside an SSD, Billions of transistors trap electrons inside floating gates, which retain their charge even when power is cut. This makes SSDs dramatically faster than HDDs, with lower power consumption and greater durability, ideal for modern laptops and smartphones. Now zoom in to the bit, the smallest unit of memory. A bit, short for binary digit, holds just a zero or a one, Yet with these two states, computers represent everything, from cat videos to climate models. Eight bits make a byte, enough for one character like A. Scale that up, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, each storing vast sequences of bits. But storing them isn't enough. They must be quickly found, read, and changed. That's where memory design becomes engineering art, balancing speed, 
accuracy, and capacity in every new generation. Not all memory is designed to be fast or flexible. Some is built to be unchanging. ROM, or read-only memory, contains the firmware, the basic instructions a device needs to start up. ROM is not meant to be rewritten by the user. Instead, it acts like a lighthouse during boot-up, guiding the computer to load the operating system and begin its work. In most modern systems, ROM is built using flash memory as well, making it semi-rewritable for updates, but only under strict control. Without our ROM, a computer would be like a body without instincts, unable to awaken, unable to function. Overseeing this entire operation is the operating system, the unseen conductor of digital traffic. It decides which application gets access to memory and when. It prevents one program from interfering with another's memory space and manages the delicate balance of limited RAM with ever-expanding demands. When physical RAM fills up, the operating system can create virtual memory, borrowing space from the hard drive to temporarily hold inactive data. This allows the system to keep running smoothly, even when overwhelmed, though with a slight drop in speed. It's a quiet, constant choreography, happening billions of times per second, just to keep the illusion of simplicity on your screen. Today, memory is evolving faster than ever. Engineers are developing new types like MRM, magnetoresistive RAM, 3D X-Point, and phase change memory, technologies that promise to combine the permanence of storage with the speed of RAM. If perfected, they could eliminate the traditional divide between short-term and long-term memory entirely. Computers would wake up instantly, remember exactly where you left off, and access all information with lightning speed. And as devices shrink and intelligence expands, from smartwatches to spacecraft, these advances in memory will define what the future of computing looks like. Therefore, the next time you launch an application, navigate a web page, or save a file. Consider the underlying processes at work. Think about the cascade of memory operations, keeping everything in sync. Tiny bits of electric charge are working in perfect order to hold your thoughts, your work, and your creativity. Memory is invisible, but it touches everything. Without it, a computer would be nothing more than a blinking cursor and a lifeless shell. With it, we unlock the power to store our stories, our discoveries, and our dreams. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.